Well, in February, hopefully it's starting to warm up a little bit after all that exceptionally cold weather in January and December. You may see the snowdrops out in flower still. Once these are finished flowering, you can divide them. It's a great time to be dividing them while they're still in the green. Alternatively, if you haven't got any snowdrops now and haven't got any to divide, you can purchase them from reputable suppliers. Usually you buy these sort of end of August, September, October as a bulb and then plant them for flowering this time of year. Or you can purchase them in the green in little pots from nurseries and garden centres. Purchasing snowdrops in the green is usually best advised because you know that they're certainly going to come up. They're one of the few bulbs that don't last well as a bulb, a dried bulb. They like to be planted straight away way when bought. There are a few things that flower in February in the garden. Obviously I mentioned snowdrops earlier, they're sort of January to February. You will have your daffodils and bulbs coming up soon but they won't be in flower yet. Hellebores are a lovely, lovely little perennial. You can get these in different colours. Hellebore niger is the white um, one, often called the Christmas rose. This has got a little perfume as well and it's evergreen so that is very hardy, survives well in the garden. Also in flower in the garden at the moment are primroses, primula. Primula vulgaris is the native primrose, which is yellow. You'll see that in hedgerows and things like that. It's beautiful. Um, you don't need a budget to divide your perennials. So one perennial makes two plants, therefore cost saving. So March time, end of February, you can be lifting and dividing your perennials. Make sure you've cut the tops back. Lift out the whole plant with a fork, trying to not disturb the roots too much if you can. And then with a very sharp knife, find a sort of natural line to cut it in half. Either you can put these straight back in the garden or you can put them in a pot, but they need to go in compost straight away. And then you've got two plants from one. You can buy summer flowering seeds. A good seed to buy is a geranium because these are fully formed plants. are very expensive to buy in the garden centre or nursery. So uh, you sow them in January. They have a long growing period and they'll be ready for putting out in the garden in May. They need to go in a heater propagator or a heated greenhouse, they don't like the cold. You can also do this with lobelia, but you need to wait another month or two for your other sort of uh, summer flowering things like marigolds and salvias, it's a little cold. If you haven't bought your seed potatoes yet, you need to be buying those now and making sure they're ready chittered for planting sort of March, April time.